those blocks of colour in. You don't need to be neat or anything. And the colours run and create reflections. Look at that, just like on a wet street. That's great fun to do as well. Just the reflection of the windows. And when that's done, leave it to dry. And when it is dry, add in some detail to your picture using either colour pencils or wax crayons. And it's a good idea to keep to drab colours, because after all, it is miserable weather, so I'm just using black here. I'm just putting details in on the houses, on the windows and the roof line here. Maybe some detail on the door. And I think I'll use a wax crayon to just put in the light in the windows and on the lamps. Just a bit of foreground detail in here. In fact, this wax crayon goes over the dried paint beautifully. And don't forget, these detail bits will also reflect in the street. So just use squiggle reflections. Just a quick squiggle. There you have a reflection. And another quick squiggle there. A reflection of the shiny lights. And finally, take a white wax crayon and streak it across your picture to give the impression of rain. Do it very lightly with the crayon on its side to start with. Like that. And then some with a pointed edge. Like that, just to pick out those raindrops. And there it is, a rainy picture. Yeah, what I really like about that rain picture is that it gave me a chance to use so many different materials. Now you'll see later some of the unusual ways and some of the unusual things that I've used to make paintings. But have a look at this real classic art attack from one of the Christmas programs. It's an art attack where I used paint and wax crayon together. I drew the picture in wax crayon first, but watch out for how the paint changes the picture right at the end. Do you know what? I love everything about this time of year, especially if it snows. It's lovely, isn't it? And do you know what? Here's a really good way of making a snowy Christmassy picture. Take a piece of coloured paper, now blue is good for this, and draw a scene, anything you like, maybe something Christmassy, and use felt pens, crayons, paint. I'm going to use wax crayons for this. And I'm just going to start by just putting in the bits of the picture. And see if you can guess what it is. Just see if you can guess what this is. Sort of giving it away, really, isn't it? Doing this hair. some yellow mittens. So, put colour on top of colour. See that? You can also turn them on, on their sides or on the edge like this and block in big bits of colour. Look at that. 
Panic Gallery. Don't need to be neat. Could you see that? And now for the snow, and this is great fun. Take some white poster paint, but don't mix it with any water at all. Just use it straight from the bottle, nice and thick, and then just dab it onto your picture with a brush in blobs. And it's just a case of putting it where the snow would go, on top of everything. Anything that the snow would land on, just put it on top of, like on the top of the windows here. And on top of the door frame. Nice and thick. The corners of the windows. It would even pile up in the doorway there. And even there on the Christmas wreath. some more blobs on the trees at the side and also on the ground then for the snowflakes that are still falling take an old toothbrush or stiff painting brush and just dip it into your paint and flick it onto your picture using a piece of card now this is a great technique it's called spatter or should it be called splatter <laughs> either way it's great fun to do just flick the card towards you to put on those little blobs of paint. It can be a bit messy, so put some newspaper down. And as with a lot of things I do in Heart Attack, the art material makes the picture. Try it yourself, a snowy picture. <laughs> admitting it especially when it comes to drawing or painting things that take ages like leaves on trees now here's a picture of a tree that i've drawn and that was the easy bit now to put on the leaves and you know when it comes to doing the boring bits i don't mind cheating at all if it makes it easier and a lot more fun to do and that's where this comes in any old paintbrush preferably one with stiff bristles and it's just a case of dipping it into some green poster paint like that and then just wiping off most of the paint and the idea is to get your brush as dry as possible so don't put any water on it and then just hold it vertically above your picture and stab it down onto the paper and look what happens look at that hundreds of leaves start to appear it's a really good cheese isn't it? it saves you drawing each leaf individually and the more paint you put on and the more leaves you stab onto your picture the thicker they get look at that and it's also a good idea to have some dark paint, you could have some black and some dark brown and just again wipe off the excess paint onto a piece of scrap paper and just start to dab or stipple some darker leaves around the bottom edge like this just to give it a bit of shade on the bottom of the tree and what about a lighter shade of paint like a yellow or a white and again just dab off the excess. And it goes. And just create some lighter leaves around the top, like that. And there it is. It didn't take any time at all. Not bad for a cheat, eh? And you can use this cheating technique to do lots of different bushes and leaves. Watch this. Stabbing it on in exactly the same way. And you know, I'm all for cheating if it makes it easier. It looks just as good. Same down here. Just a couple of bits of black. And if you 
dab on some colour, just little dabs of colour, and again, get all the excess colour off your brush first, then you can create flowers. Again, in the same way. Just dab them on, stipple them on, and on, and on. <laughs> Try cheating yourself. Dab on some leaves and flowers with a dry brush. You know Art Attack by now, and you know that I love to mess around with paint. Lots of it. And I'm always trying to come up with amazing new ways to do paintings. Though some of them are sometimes a bit messy. Well, here's a fantastic Art Attack that's a bit naughty with paint. So whatever you do, get permission and make sure you put down lots of paper. So, okay, how would you like to use all of this stuff to create the most fantastic firework display in the night sky? Don't believe me? Come and have a look at this.